Making Do show with a digital twist. We meet artists creating some pretty unusual art. Take a look at this. Jason Cronenwald takes bubble gum and makes pictures of people in it. That's right, chewy, delicious bubble gum. Hey, Jason. Hey, Nick. How's it going? Why bubble gum? Why not applesauce? I guess just the idea of using different materials to take something that people wouldn't associate with making art and, and see if I could make something. So how do you make bubblegum art? I start off with a, a blank piece of wood. I choose the colors that I'm going to use. A little bit of hot water. I start pressing the, the gum with my fingers and thumbs. See you later. Thank you very much. See you later, Jason. We check in with uploaders making some cool stuff. Let's check out what these uploaders are doing with gum. Oh, hey Nick, why don't you see the great bubblegum blocks of me? First of all, you have to find a box you like, and then you can get some things to decorate your box. You need to paint your box, because sometimes the tiles have little spaces between them. Right now, I'm going to glue on some rocks. I want to show you how to put on the tiles. You should put a little bit of glue on the tile a little bit, and then stick it where you want to go. And the final step <laughs> is to make something for the top of your box. You okay? Yeah, can you help? These gloves. Just roll out your clay, and make squiggly lines. Glue it on top of your box, and you can put spots on your snake. I put a mouse on top of my box instead of a snake. And check out all my gum. <laughs> I have an idea. Let's check out one more uploader. Hey Nick, come check out this bubblegum collage that I made in CyberArts class. You're gonna love it. To create my bubblegum collage, I first had to use a program Photoshop. I went online and searched for pictures of bubblegum wrappers. And then I dragged and brought them into my collage like this. The next step I did was to search for people blowing bubblegum online. I wanted to delete the background. To do this, use the magic wand tool, select the background, and delete it. To make the picture stand out a little bit more, I wanted to add a border around the picture. After you've created all of the borders for each picture, it should turn out to look something like this. My last and favorite part of the creation is to bring in another picture and put it into the collage. Once you've put it on top of the picture that you wanted to affect, you can use a selection over here to change the way it looks. Once I've done this with a whole collage, it should turn out to look something like this. So my collage went from this to this. Me and some uploaders always have to try the art ourselves. So I want you guys to keep chewing, chew away, be chew machines. Because while you're doing that, I'm gonna show you what, I'm, what we're gonna do for, like, for our project today. So all you have to do is take a piece of gum, which is already chewed up just like this, which your, yours will be eventually. And then when that's done, take the gum, put it in the warm bowl of water just like this and swish it around, swish, swish, swish. And then by that point, when we bring it out, it's gonna be extra stretchy and really pliable. And then all you have to do is, is put it on this little piece of board right here, and we're gonna make cool designs and shapes out of it. Okay. You guys ready to go? Yeah. Okay, let's go. This is an alien ship coming over and they don't have anything to be afraid of because they're happy aliens like E.T. So this is what kind of drum? It's a taiko drum. Okay. Which is made in Japan. It's made in Japan. For scaring away evil spirits. Oh! Who wants to see mine? Me. Okay. One more finishing touch though. What do you think? Wow. Pretty good, eh? Yeah. See, the great thing about bubblegum art is that it smells good, it tastes good, and it looks good. Yeah. Get your Zuna. Let's all compare. Beautiful. Oh, works up. Guys, try this at home because it's fantastic. I want to thank everybody at the AGO. They were great. 
This is Nick logging off. Wow. And you won't believe the arts and crafts kids sent into us. Hey there, my name is Emily from Toronto, and today we'll be making monsters. This is really, really important. Decide to name this one, Upload the Robot Monster. Bye everyone! Hi, my name is Max, and today I'm going to teach you how how to draw a robot. First you draw a big square but with no top. Two curvy lines coming out the side. One eye. And you're done your robot. Upload, the place to be for creativity. And hey, if you have a computer, use it. www.uploaders.ca